Welcome back to Sunless Skies. In the last episode, I believe that was the one where we communed with the Scorn Fluke, finishing the cult's quest at Whirlberry Juxtamere. So at this point, I think I'm pretty much done with stuff to do in Albion for now. Almost entirely. The only thing I can think of off the top of my head to do that's a quest is the Royal Society, uh, specifically the Rochester Club's race. I doubt that's very important, though, and I don't care that much. So, yeah, we're pretty much done with Albion, but we do have a couple big areas of unexplored uh, stuff, like right here in particular, right here. I guess that's mostly it. All the others are fairly small, but these are kind of big-ish. Also, I have this weird feeling in the back of my mind that somebody told me there was something important behind the Reach Transit Relay. And I don't remember what quest that's related to. I could go through a request to find that, but I'd rather just check it out on my own. But for now, let's check out this unexplored area up here. And I think we're about to fight something. I saw lights in front of me. Glorious. Love using my the distance to my advantage. Hell yeah. Hmm. I guess my terror is relatively high, but also, you know, I could always just pop over to the most serene mausoleum. Lead a search of the crew quarters failure. Oh, I lost a crew. Shit. Um, oh yeah, this is the one where one of my crew members' eyes have turned to glass. Ugh. Lost three strength of the sun. Good. And a pane of stained glass. Okay. Zaker. I'm not going to break open a coffin. Come on. Pay my respects. Most likely fail. Oh, success. Reduce my terror. Silence as coffins drift past the windows as Stoker removes his hat. Doesn't this make something spawn, though? No? Okay. I always forget exactly what makes a, a scribe spawn here. stretch of sky.
Let's make my way all the way up to the most serene mausoleum, I suppose. Maybe while I'm there I should use my Immaculate Souls. I'd be wasting some of them, because I think it reduces your terror by like 70% or so. I only have about 40%, but... Probably still worth it. Ooh, can I get through here? Yeah, I just can't quite go straight. Okay, well, looks like that's it for this spot. Just a bleak, stony, industrialist place. Abandoned, it seems like. Well, let's reduce our terror at the mausoleum. Attending a funeral. Attend a Sky Fair's funeral uses up a Sky Story. I mean, that alone reduced my terror by a lot. I don't think it's worth it to use an Immaculate Soul. Yeah, let's not. We can contemplate the dead sun. See if we have anything to talk to the Deathless about. Some more time has passed. Can speak of the Luminous Cardinal, possibly. 49% chance. Ooh, what is this? An invitation to dine. This will allow you to take on unique bargains for the Deathless, though you will lose favor. The bargain is randomized. You may be able to change which is available by replaying the invitation. Huh. I need three favor with them. So either that's probably going to That'll probably take my uh, favor right away as soon as I do it. So it's either that or speak of the Luminous Cardinal. I don't think speaking with him is going to like give me a quest or anything. Let's see what this bargain is. The cheery registrar hands you a gold leaf envelope penned in black. It seems you've attracted the attention of one of the Deathless. The Dismal Chamberlain invites you... Invites you a... Invites you a little soiree? Invites you to a little soiree in a sepulchral vault above the nave. Behind a great clock face, a gathering of respectable notables has been assembled. A gallery of musicians plays a selection of her renewed majesty's favorite waltzes. The Dismal Chamberlain is very interested indeed in your opinions on contemporary music. A new bargain may now sometimes be found at the mausoleum. Vision of the Heavens... No accomplishment dealing with the deathless. And I've lost favor. Okay, so how do we do this? Oh, it's a bargain. So that'd be here, right? Yes? Maybe? Not totally sure. <laughs> I guess it may appear there. As it said, so maybe it's just not there right now. Or maybe that is the bargain, although it doesn't look like it. Because it said it appeared because of Bohemia. Anyway. I think we're done here. I thought I would head on over to the Royal Society. Because I haven't been here in a while. And you know what? Maybe I do want to do the race quest. It really just depends on where they want me to race to. Whether it's out of the way or not. I also want to make sure that there aren't any other things I wanted for my ship. Potentially, now that my skills have changed a bit. Celestial Exhibition. Oh, right, that's all the donate stuff. Nah. Volunteering with a short-sighted professor. Ah, this again. Volunteer as a lab assistant. Sure. 48% chance of success. Failure, but my terror still went down. Professor's experiments are poorly explained and not particularly pleasant. Fortunately, the lot on them is high quality. You soon slip into a soft haze of indifference, barely noticing the buzz of electrical current through your tongue. <laughs> Thanks. Wander the gardens? Why not have a stroll? 52% chance of success? Failure? Um, yeah, we've done this before. That accomplished nothing but gaining me terror. Cool. Port report. Visit the mellifluous president. 
I really don't need more invitations to Berdurin's. Yep, nothing to do there. Goodbye. Nell's Tower. Deliver the chair in the effulgent sciences. Permission to move the telescope. Yeah, I think we've read two reports of theirs so far. And they were different. So, let's see if it's different once again. Read your patron's latest reports. Oh, what the hell? Uh, today I have regrets which I shall divulge here and am angry and sorry I have not ever been the best tutor to you. Dear heart, I apologize. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Uh, I, at first I thought that this was the person... Uh, maybe looking at the sun too much and their uh, their mental state just kind of breaking down but actually this might be a secret message let me write down everything that's capitalized it is a secret message it says that which is dead may never die a soul might grow a hollow full uh, it's kind of up to me where to decide the word breaks are so I'm not like super, super, super sure about the end bit. The first bit's definitely right. That which is dead may never die. And then I'm thinking the rest is a separate sentence. That which is dead may never die. A soul might grow a hollow full. Maybe the message isn't complete. I'm not quite sure. A soul might grow a hollow full. I double checked that end bit a couple times. I did get it right. It's disturbing that they felt the need to hide this message. Why did they have to hide it? Man, I really want to come back here and get the next message. Really, really, really want to, but I have to wait. Don't I? I think so. Hey, Rochester Club. I failed the race. Hey, Rochester Club. Can I compete? Uh, where do I have to go? Floating Parliament. Is it randomized? That's what it was last time, I think. Hmm. Okay, well that's not bad. That is kind of near this place that I want to explore. And I do have two prospects that I can do. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll do that. 6th of October, I'm not going to write it down because I don't care that much. I'm sure that won't bite me in the ass. Hmm, there is actually one design that I want. The Proserpina Superior Mining and Smelting Array. Um, occupies your auxiliary slot, requires your veils, is at least 25, and increases your hold by 4. So what I currently have in there is the Wit and Vinegar Sawing Device. It's also like a dual purpose thing, it allows you to mine plus, gives you two hidden compartments. This allows you to mine plus, gives you 4 hold. So if I'm not carrying contraband, then I might as well have more normal hold space. Takes 10 experimental modifications, I have 13, let's do it. I wish I could be out there like you, but I don't get time off the energetic mechanic size. I could ask, I suppose, but there's just so much to be done, and I never like leaving a thing unfinished. Let's put this thing on. 34 hold space, that is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, hey, I was just poking around the different options. Um, so within the workshops here are, is the inscribed Tinkerer, and apparently they're the one who wanted the sigils from the throne. Remember when I got the sigils from the throne and, and transcribed them when we used our royal dispensation? Let's read their description again, because I don't remember them at all. The inscribed Tinkerer likes a workbench tidy and her tea as strong as the devil's opinions. She believes in iteration of technology, of society, of people and her inventions are intended to mitigate specific dangers and obstacles of the high wilderness. 
Her tea-stained notebook bulges with blueprints, and her skin is covered in inky treatments of the correspondence. She raises an eyebrow as you enter her office. Thank God, I was in need of a break. The inscribed tinker can provide truly exceptional equipment from her shop if she likes you. Oh, I think they're about to like us very much. You've traced the correspondence sigil she was after. Carefully, she takes your scorched notebook in her hands and flicks through the pages, occasionally nodding. Thank you, Captain. How marvelous. It ought to be classified with the regrettables in the Dolford compilation, I think. She traces the broken lines of the sign with her blackened fingertip. The impact that destroys, the fire that burns bright. For some, there's no surrender. She takes the notebook and places it in a drawer marked with a stamp of the Ministry. Very good, Captain. Here, your reward. I'm more than happy to do business with you from now on. Yes. Okay, what can you offer? Oh my god, I'm so excited. Visit the Inscribed Tinker's shop. Hell yes. The Inscribed Tinker is happy to make unique equipment for you at her shop at the Royal Society. Ooh. She's promised you access to her designs after you helped her locate a rarity in the correspondence. How many things do you have? The Inscribed Tinker shows you her workroom where half-built machines and Herculean blueprints dominate the cluttered space. Old hobbies, before I found my real passion, she says in tones of fond humor. See if there's anything you'd like. I'll get the lads from engineering to knock something together for you. Oh my god, that's so much. Holy shit. Okay, let's... Fuck, let's look at every single one. I'm so excited. Acquire Signora Zenobia's Prestige Scythe. A reinforced and rarefied canning system. It's a space scythe? Takes your auxiliary slot. Requires your hearts is at least 50. Ooh. No. I'm nowhere near that. And increases your armor by 8. An adamant reinforced windshield for a captain who intends to see the stars in style. Requires your veils is at least 75. Oh, this is for me. The adamant reinforced windshield occupies your bridge slot, requires your veils is at least 75, and increases your armor by 17. Oh, that's good. Now, granted, what I currently have in here is also good. Four hold and four quarters. I don't need the four quarters, to be honest. Like, even without that, I would still have plenty of space for people. And the four hold is good, but, like, I just put on this thing that gave me a four hold. So 17 hit points would be good. 16 experimental modifications. I should write all this down. Okay, got that first one. Cantankerous Boring Rig. Requires your mirrors is at least 50. Got that. A hardy and stubborn mining rig made from the repurposed shells of cantankery. Auxiliary slot. Increases your hold by 4 and your armor by 5. Yeah. It's like what I have on, but a bonus of 5 armor. Yeah, that's good. Okay, I want that too. 18 experimental modifications. 18 boring rig. There we go. Heathcliff Durable Plating. Mm, hearts of 50 do not have that. Perfect for keeping people out. Mm, so it goes into the plating slot, increases armor by 11, and hold by 4. Yeah, well, I've got the Amniotic Crew Containment. 13 armor and 5 quarters. Mm. Pluto Miniature Law Furnace. What? Requires your iron is at least 75. Oh, not going to happen. Oh, it gives you hidden compartments. That'd be nice. And the last one, mirrors is at least 75. Hmm. Well, I don't have that, obviously, but I maybe could get that sometime in the future. Hmm. Auxiliary slot. And it just straight up increases my hold by 8. Yeah, I've already got 
Mm. There's no reason to get that, actually. Increases my hold by 8 and goes in on auxiliary slot, but I could just buy another ratty baggage handler. Pop that in the other slot, here, and that would give me 11 hold instead of 8. Okay, uh, yeah, that's two things I want. 16 and 18 experimental modifications. Which, if I do the math, 6 plus 8 is 14, 20, 34. 34. Let's see what I can do with that. What do I have to give to get 34? I don't have many uncanny specimens. 7. So, yeah, let's not do that. Vision of the Heavens. Oh, and only... You can just spend one Vision of the Heavens to get one experimental modifications. That's pretty good. Creative munitions, like, yeah. Um, I have 11 otherworldly artifacts. That's pretty good, too. I don't want to get rid of my caged catch. Oh, unseasoned hours. This one gives you two for each one. And they're pretty cheap, so that's worth it. Stained glass gives you one. Okay, let's do all the hours, because I think that one's really efficient. Seven experimental modifications. Let's do the munitions, sure. That stuff I'm carrying on me just in case I could use it for something, like this exact situation. Let's get rid of some otherworldly artifacts. Not too many, but a couple. And now I'm up to 12. And I need 34. Well, I guess I could just do the rest with Visions of the Heavens. Let's do another otherworldly artifact. And then Visions of the Heavens. Got 34. First one is the windshield. This one. The glass was requisitioned from one of the work worlds. Brabazon, I think. We put it through a forge heated with the cooling embers of a slain sun, but we've never found a use for it. I'll have it sent to your engine. Glass from Brabazon. Heated in the cooling embers of a dead sun. Wow, that's... That's glorious practicality. <laughs> and the other one is the boring rig. Terrible creatures. Glad to put their shells to good use. You can't eat them. Can't probably kill them. And have you ever witnessed them mate? Well, no, you wouldn't have, would you? I'll have this sent to your engine. What do you mean you wouldn't have, would you? What does that mean? Because if I did, I would be dead? Is that it? Let's put this stuff on. Uh, did I want to put both of them on right now? 17 armor? Oh, right, that's the bridge slot. But yeah, that's fine. I'm going to quite literally lose my people. The minute that I put it on, because I'm going to lose my quarters, but that's fine. They're just... They're just going to spend some time at the Royal Society. That's an interesting thing about losing your crew, is I've noticed that a lot of the time they don't actually die. Sometimes they do. But a lot of the time they don't. It's more just like... They aren't fit to work anymore. You know, their hurts, their eyes turn to glass. Or... They had to be locked in their room or something like that. So it's not always totally terrible. I mean, your eyes turn into glasses. That's pretty terrible. Let's put that on. Boop. Looks like I got hurt because I just gained health. Max health, anyway. Why do I have two different types of thingies here? Oh, right. I just bought the Proserpina. <laughs> yeah. Well, that one's a little bit better. Four hold. Five armor. Yep. Right, same as that one, but plus five armor. Boop. Even more health. Got 125 health. Oh. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. 
Can I buy these things more than once? Can I just buy two of them? Like, can I just buy another Amiata crew containment? That'd give me a lot of armor and a lot of quarters. Probably can't. Where's the designs? Uh, oh, you, you can. Damn. Do I need that though? Because I think I have enough iron. I think I need 50 iron to be able to get the armor plating that gives me, I think it's 20 per plating or 15 or something like that that I can buy at Eleutheria. So, if I get that, it's going to give me a lot more health than this will. This gives me 13. And this is going to give me a lot of quarters, of course, but do I really need like 20 people on board my ship? I don't feel like I do at all. And the more people, the more people you have on board, I believe, the more supplies you eat up. Huh. I really don't know if I want that. I'm actually going to get another one. I don't know if I want to use it, but I want to have the option just in case I need more people, basically. It's a nice compromise between armor and more quarters. I gave up some stuff I probably shouldn't have to, to get this. Uh, I think a condemned experiment in the cage and the, the tea, I mean, those are fine, but not the condemned or, or caged catch necessarily. I'll be fine. I shouldn't hoard my stuff. It's all right. There we go. Got so many amniotic sacks for my crew. Got a sack for everybody. Stopped at London, unloaded all that stuff, all the extra stuff. Killed my hole, did not get more people on board because I don't think I need 20 and I don't want to have to feed them all. And now I'm headed over to the Parliament to finish, or, well, continue the race quest. Got to go to Parliament and then back to the Royal Society. And along the way, we can also go across this little unexplored strip around the Reach Transit Relay. And I had that hunch, or not a hunch, I had that vague memory of being told that there's something behind the relay, maybe for a quest, I'm not sure. So we're going to be going behind it on the way there. Oh, I'm also doing two prospects for Parliament, by the way. Five things of bronze wood and three of munitions. Unsettled dreams. Let's see company. Yeah, let's see company, but we're not seeking company this time with the Incognito Princess because we are still afraid of them and confused by them. So it's someone else. Failure. Same dream. Can I go? No, I can't go that way. Oh, hello. <laughs> That was satisfying. Okay, who was shooting you, though? There was someone else, right? Unlicensed chart. Ministry stamp permit. I heard... Gunfire. Oh, yeah, here we go. Ah, glass dreadnought. You're the more powerful one that has a gun that actually will swivel. 
I need to be a lot more careful with you. my people you know even though I have a lot of people I don't want to risk them just for a pane of stained glass loot the hold bulging sack ooh jumble of undistinguished souls We're like pretty much right behind the transit relay. So maybe I remembered wrong. Could it have been talking about Brabus on Workworld? It's near it. Hmm. Let's go a little bit into here. thinking of. Uh, you know, I shouldn't bother getting that. I'm on a race, right? I don't think I'm super pressed for time, but let's actually do the quest this time. <laughs> I think it was the 6th of October that I left, or when I got the quest. Parliament. Let's get rid of our stuff with the prospects. 1400 profit, nice. Minister stamp permit as a bonus, nice. Experience, irrelevant. Three munitions, 360 profit, plus a moment of inspiration, very nice. Ministry approved literature, yes, I'm very low on that. Take all of that. People's perpetual protest, scone on the lawn, reduces our terror. Our aunt has a word with a person who baked it. I don't think we have any more wills of the people. Report, report. Oh, right, we need to find the race marshal. There we go. They give us a little bit of supplies. Pat on the back. Man, I really want to get these keys to the House of Lords, Victoria Tower. Do I have to pass laws to get them? Probably. Yeah, let me see if I can pass a law. Nope. What places can I do it in? I don't remember exactly where I've been. Mm, that actually doesn't say. On my way back to the Royal Society to complete that race quest. I have till the 6th, I think, of next month. And I'm also going to be going across this area that I wanted to explore. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to explore all of it. I'm just going to go straight through, but, you know, I'll go through the center, send out some scouts. We'll see if there's anything, anything big here to see. Oh, well, there's that, but I'm not touching that. Hope I can get through here. I think I hear the storm that speaks.
Yeah, let's keep going this way. I want to get to the Royal Society through here, I guess. I don't want to get too close to the Clockwork Sun, though. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's much here. Not going to get involved in whatever fight that is. God, it's so dark. Hey, buddy. Yeah, okay. Explored a good amount of it. Nothing huge, so I'll see you at the Royal Society. Made it back with a couple weeks to spare. I'm not expecting any big reward. Let's volunteer. Success this time. Reduce my terror by quite a bit. I think we've done that before, both failure and success. Get a port report. I wonder if enough time has passed. What is this? You need the Royal Society's gratitude for that. Um, yeah, can we get another report from our patron? Oh, the option isn't even there. That means that's the end of it. It won't go any further. Let's observe the clockwork sun. Does it look any different? Um, no, that looks the same. Yeah, so that's the last thing they're ever going to say. Huh. Well, I guess let's choose someone else. I have to renounce my patronage first. Your patron sighs mournfully. Very well, I shan't tether you to me. We do preach a broad education here at the Royal S. Their gaze is somewhere between reproach and regret. You know where to find me, should you change your mind? Who now? Oh, I unlocked this with a roll of Thirsty Bombazine. Oh, they all require something, don't they? Savage Secret, Artifact, Bombazine. Hmm, Lecturer in Imperial Affairs with a Senatorial Professor. Ancient, Sightless, Cantankerous Astronomer from Old London. Hmm... Lecture in Imperial Affairs. The serious, studious, London-appointed astronomer. She will require a gift, however. Oh, London-appointed? Hmm. Let's, let's go with the other astronomer, then. Hopefully they're not ready to kiss the Queen's ass. He eventually agrees to a meeting in his library, where the windows are blacked out and not a single candle burns. He sits himself in his armchair and listens to you stumble about in the dark. <laughs> he strips off his blindfold and winds your cloth around his eyes instead. That's better. I was getting solar interference. Something was watching me. Now, patronage. Well, you bring me a permit from the ministry, and we can have a gander through the telescope. Yeah, to give it a look. Let's read the latest report. Progress. Slow and inexorable as the spinning of a spider's web, but progress all the same. A stray observation based on the patches of luminosity in the sky and the correspondent darkness between others. The constellations are politic. Yes, they are. The different conjunctions. Let's win the race. The claim of victory, you've triumphed. The room bursts into applause as you enter. A full bottle of champagne is located, opened, and sprayed vigorously in your direction. Good show. Good show. Lord Rochester is red-faced with delight. Damn near pipped me getting back. Very proud to call you a Rochester. Very bloody proud. His praise is fulsome, as is the bag of sovereigns pressed into your hand. 500 sovereigns. 
Cool. Can we do anything else for the club? Oh, we can compete in different places. Do we always have to come back to here, though? Because, like, if I have to go all the way to the reach of them back here, that better be a longer and more rewarding thing. Okay. The reach. Ooh, it's in the same amount of time. 30 days to get to Titania and back to the club. Hmm. That does sound doable. Tough. Like, you really would have to ignore basically everything else, I think. But I did do this with almost two weeks to spare. So I did it in only about half the time or so. Yeah, you probably get a better reward for that. 24th of October. I will never remember that, but I'm probably going to the Reach soon, so maybe? No. Actually, definitely not. <laughs> I'm going to reach to the Reach to do a bunch of things, not come immediately back to Albion. Hello. I was just heading back to London. And I think we have our first visit from the burrower below. Wow, that looks extra disturbing, all those eyes within the eye, now that it's really big. The burrower's breath. Ochre fogs rise above your locomotive. The air acquires a caustic copper tang. Your driver complains they can't see a damn thing. The burrower's breath, they murmur. The fog persists all day. That evening, a gnarled crewman visits your cabin. The burrower below is displeased, he informs you. She expects a sacrifice. If you wish, he will arrange it. Hmm. When you say sacrifice, do you mean like a person? Oh my god, they do mean a person. The burrower's price is the time remaining in three of your crew. Fuck no. Hell no. Decline and try to find my own way through. 72% chance of success. Or rely on an old chart. Well, I do have 10 of those. It says you risk losing an unlicensed chart. Does that mean if my fortune fails, then I lose it? Otherwise, I keep it? If so, I'm fine with losing it. Yeah, let's do that. You have in your possession a chart that might allow you to navigate the stretch of sky despite the strangling fog. Failure? Yeah, just lose the chart. That's totally fine. You unroll the chart and steer by it, crawling your blind locomotive through the fog. A jagged ruin looms abruptly before you. Your driver heaves on the brake. A narrow miss. The chart was not as reliable as you'd hoped. Was it wrong? Outdated? False? Have you been, have you been trusting in nothing but blind luck this whole time? In disgust, you tear the map to pieces, making sure it can't lead you astray again. Oh, I feel like that could have ended a lot worse. I'm surprised I didn't gain a bunch of terror from failing that. Back at London, and I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So what I've done is I went over to the Wit and Vinegar Lumber Company to look for any smuggling prospects for the Reach, since that's where I plan on going in the next episode. Got quite a few things to do there. And found one to deliver seven trunks of illicit literature. So got that. I've got the seven trunks. Um, I managed to get eight concealed compartments, thanks to two concealed cavities. My song device, which gives me two, plus the cabinet of curiosities. And of course, all of that has massively reduced my health. What? What is my health? 80, instead of like 116 or 20 or something. So a lot less health, a bit less hold space, and way less people. Only 10. But it's just temporary, so it should be fine. They're to be delivered to Port Prosper, by the way. Also, this image of a concealed cavity is just stuck on the screen, no matter what I do. So that's kind of weird. So, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. And when I return, we're going to head back to the Reach. <laughs>